Hi everyone, this is Dr. Krup Vasavda and our today's topic of discussion is Forensic Photography which will be useful in crime scene investigation. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and sharing and if you want more links of playlist, you can visit the description box. Introduction, the word photography is taken from the Greek word. So photos means light and graphos means right. So these are the two words, photos and graphos. Photos means light and graphos means right. Forensic photography was introduced in 1851 in Belgium and become an advanced technology in 1870s. So first is what it was introduced in 1851 in Belgium and then became an advanced technology in 1870s. French photographer Alphonse Bartillon was the first to realize that photographs were futile for identification if they were not standardized using the same light scale and angles. So Bartillon was the first to realize that the photograph were futile for identification. So for identification, photographs are very useful if they were not standardized using the same light scale and angles. Let us see the definition of forensic photography. It may refer to the visual documentation of different aspects found at the crime scene. So it may refer visual documentation of different aspects found at a scene of crime. It may include the documentation of the crime scene or physical evidences that is either found at the crime scene or already possessed in a laboratory. So, ऐसे evidences जो कि crime scene पे मिले हैं और उसका documentation करना है या तो फिर पहले से they are possessed in laboratory for that forensic photography is very 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 important. Again, let me tell you it may include the documentation of the crime scene or physical evidence that is either found at a crime scene like a photography of footprint. Okay? And either already possessed in a laboratory. Types of forensic photography. So the first one is overall photographs. Here the photo is taken from a specific position covering the whole crime scene in a single image. Not only from a particular position but from a different position covering the full scene. It is That is why it is called as overall photograph. This photo provides a complete picture of crime scene and shows the relationship between various evidences retrieved from the scene. The next one is mid-range photographs. From the name itself, it is clear that this photo includes a half photo of the scene and the photo is taken from the center of the scene because it is mid-range photograph, right? And the third one is close-up. So as we all know, this word is uh, uh, also, uh, we use this word very frequently. This photo shows a close photo of the evidence, the detailed photo of each and everything from the scene. Like, agar humne koi footprint dekha hai, to sirf vaha pe, sirf wo photograph mein ek footprint hi rahega. Like that it is close-up photograph. Photographic techniques, in that there will be digital photography. Uh, UV photography that uh, also we said is ultraviolet photography, panoramic, panoramic photography, uh, fluorescence photography, infrared photography and macro photography. So these are the various techniques of photography. And future of this field for uh, digital photography or forensic photography is as a technology like digital photography becomes more common. Forensic photography continues to advancement and now includes many categories requiring specialists to perform more sophisticated tasks. So, this yeah, field is now advancement very much, categories are very much, right? Uh, specialist needs to be for the performance, uh, performance of sophisticated tasks, which is particular task perform kar sake or usme expert. Ho. Okay, infrared and ultraviolet light are also used to trace evidence, photograph fingerprints, 
take tiny blood samples and many other things. Okay, so these both lights are also very useful. Necropsy photographs or photographs taken both before and after the victim clothing is removed. These photos include close-ups of scars, tattoos, wounds, teeth marks, or we can say bite marks, and analyzing else that would help in identifying the victim or determining their time and cause of death. So, victim ka identification karne ke liye, ya to fir cause of death ka determination karne ke liye, uh, before and after removing clothes, right, in necropsy photographs, waha pe scars, tattoos, wounds, bite marks ke photographs waha pe, or anything else, jo ki helpful hai, unki photography waha pe karni chahiye. Thank you for watching this video. You can subscribe this channel, click bell icon and share this video amongst your friends. Thank you.